Okay, so hello everyone, hope you're doing well, and welcome back to our series on stats. And today we'll just talk about the Factorion ANOVA. So what that basically means is we're continuing our between groups ANOVA, but we're kind of adding more variables onto it. So let's get straight into it. So we've got a question here. People's taste in music changes over time. 90 people listen to a single type of music and a group of researchers want to know if there was a difference in the enjoyment of that music in two different age groups. So as you can see here, we're just testing if age has kind of an effect on what type of music people enjoy. So let's get straight into Jamovia and see what we're working with. Okay, so we've got our variables here. So we've got music, so we've got three different groups. We've got Fugazi, Abba and Bath groups, as well as different age groups. So we've got 40 plus and uh, between zero and 40. So as we saw in the, in the question, and we've got their different likings on what they like. First things first, if we just go into straight into analyses, and this time instead of putting one way, we're doing just a normal ANOVA here. Okay, so we've got our data here. So again, our dependent variable was the liking, and we wanna put both our variables here in the age and music. And what the ANOVA will basically tell us is that um, um, will show us if there's an interaction between the age and music. So as you can see here, we've got age with our F statistic and our p-value. So because this p-value is above 0 0.05, we know that this um, age has no effect on the liking of music overall. However, the music, the music because this F statistic is quite large, will have a low p-value and therefore sh say that music has a significant effect on how much people like it. However, this also, we've got also this interesting thing um, in the Factorian over, which is the interaction between age and music. So if we put both the variables together, we can see that this very large F statistic tells us that there is a significant effect of both age and music on the liking uh, of music. But first things first, let's just check our assumptions quickly. So we've got homogeneity and normality. And as you can see here, both of them are above 0 0.05. So we're all good and ready to go. So here you can uh, kind of change what input you've got here. So because we already know, for example, age is non-significant, we can just take that out. However, that will also take out the interactions. So we might wanna uh, keep it both these in. Okay, so what can then we do? So we've got these values here and that's well and good. So we'll need to report these. However, we want a bit more detail on how this age and music interact. So a good way of kind of getting your grips around at first before looking at the data is kind of looking at these graphs and to see where the interaction is. So as you can see here, we've got liking and age and we've got the two different groups. So as you can see here between zero 40 and 40 plus, uh, the blue ABBA group here, doesn't really uh, change according to age. However, we can see between here in zero and 40, people don't really like bath groups. However, in the Fugazi group, people of younger age seem to prefer it. And uh, you can see there's interaction by this cross here, meaning that there's a significant difference in both ways. However, because this ABBA is quite constant, there isn't much difference between the groups. And similarly, because this difference between this low value 0 40 and this high value of um, uh, the 0 to 40 group cancels out the effect of um, the 40 plus group, this is why there is seen to be um, no effect of age on uh, the music liking because this will cancel out this and the other group is quite constant, so there's no significant difference between the groups. So this is why this age and music is really interesting because we can clearly see there is a difference, but this first statistic won't tell us that. So we need to go into more detail. So this is why we go into this post hoc and we don't really need to put age, uh, but let's just do it anyway, just see what it looks like. And this will give us much more detail uh, about the two groups. This here, we don't, um, again, we don't need to do this because we already know this will be non-significant and uh, I'm pretty sure it will give us the same value as here. So as you can see, we've got a T value this time because you're basically doing um, a T test on this and you've got a non-significant p-value the same as there. Music, however, this is what we're interested in. So you can see there's a significant difference between ABBA and Bath Crooks, as, as well as Fugazi, but there's no, no difference in Bath Crooks um, and Fugazi because of that um, cancel out effect that we saw before. So this is why we need to go into kind of more detail on this. So what do we want to compare? So you want to kind of compare things by changing one variable at a time. So for example, we've got age here, so it's between zero and 40 and that listen to ABBA. We don't really wanna compare that to 40 plus that listen to Bath groups, for example, because you're changing two variables and therefore you don't really know which one of these um, independent variables, the one you're changing, has the an effect on the dependent variable with their music liking. So this is why we wanna 
kind of keep it the same. So for example, compare 0 to 40 with ABBA, with 0 to 40 Bath groups. And we already know music has an effect, so we expect a significant difference here um, because um, we're changing the music type here. You can also do this with Fugazi, but for this one, for example, there's no significant difference. So although music has a significant difference overall, as you can see here, in this case, when we're changing the music type in the 0 to 40 group, basically what that's saying is that people like Fugazi and ABBA the same, so therefore there's no significant difference. Uh, and you can do that with um, some of the other ones. Um, of course, we don't want to, again, compare 0 to 40 uh, ABBA with 40 plus Fugazi, because um, yeah, that, we don't really know which one has an effect. But yeah, you can compare some other ones, for example, 0 to 40 Bath Grooks and 0 to 40 Fugazi. So according to this, there's no significant difference. However, if we look into detail between the 0 to 40, um, sorry, in the 0 to 40 group, there's a significant difference between Bath Grooks and Fugazi, so that's why we want to report that. And what we report is the, basically the t-value, degrees of freedom, and the p-value. So let's jump in, and I'll show you how I wrote that. You can also add this uh, Cohen's d for effect size to kind of tick off that box. You can add some marginal means table with your means and standard error as well. Yeah, so you don't have to go into descriptors. Okay, let's jump into Word, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so for the first part, without going into the post hoc detail test, so I wrote there was a significant difference a significant effect on liking music depending on t what type of music the participants were exposed to. And you write that F statistic with your um, degrees of freedom at the top. So you've got your uh, 2 take away 84, which is uh, this total here. So that's where I got it from. And then you write the statistic and the p-value. And um, this again p-value tells us that it was a significant effect. So I wrote there was a significant difference in music liking in the ABBA group, and then we had some descriptives from the table compared to Bath groups, which was seen to have a large effect size, and we get that d-value because we're doing a parametric test. And also to note here, there isn't a non-parametric equivalent that I'm aware of or I'm taught, so I won't be going through that as well. Uh, and then we can also see there's a difference in the ABBA group compared to the Fugazi, and as you can see here, I don't need to rewrite the ABBA because I've already written it here. And again, a large effect size. So once we've done that, we get, want to get into nitty gritties with these um, finer details. So you can see there was a significant difference in music liking when music type and age were taken into consideration. And again, you've got that F284 uh, and then the statistic. So our rhythm of music liking will seem to be similar between the two age groups in those who were exposed to ABBA. So then I wrote the descriptives for the zero to 40 because these are just the overall ABBA, not taking into consideration, uh, consideration the age. So this is the 0 to 40 and how much they liked ABBA, so that was 64. And the 40 plus was 59, so there wasn't a significant difference in that because the p-value is again above 0 0.05. However, when we compare the bath groups, and then you've got again the 0 to 40, the 40 plus, there was a significant difference in music liking um, with this p-value being uh, really low. And this will seem to have a large effect size also. And again, don't worry about the positive and negative. It just um, depends what the way you put the data in. But this is again a large effect size. And then you can also see that's all seen in the Fugazi group. So 0 to 40 and 40, which shows significant difference in those as well uh, with the p-value. And again, got our effect size here. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, it can get a bit confusing on trying to figure out which ones um, to compare here. But you basically want to see, because uh, we didn't see in the significant effect of age overall, we want to see that if we expose people to different music types, would age still have no effect? And as we can see in this case, that's not the case, because even if we, yeah, because even though in the overall effect, there seems to be no effect of age, if we, for example, look at 0 to 40, Bath Grooks and 0 to 40 Fugazi, we can see there is a significant difference. So age so the interaction between age and music must have an effect. And yeah, so that's basically it. So if you need any help, then make sure to comment. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. So yeah, thank you for listening. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.